What's up, beauties? It's your girl, Chucky B, and welcome back to Majesty Beauties. If you're new here, thank you for joining. And if you're not new here, hey, girl, hey. So we're here with a boss video today, a girl boss video. And I want to talk about the five things that I wish people had said to me as a beginner um, in starting my business. And of course, just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and tap that bell right at the bottom too so y'all can see when I load stuff because, honey, it'd be far and in between. But I'm going to try to, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Okay. So these are things that are really crucial, I feel, that we should know. Um, we don't have to necessarily implement them right then, but I feel like if you have these things in the back of your mind, once you get a chance to get to those points, then you'll already know what you need to do. So if you're interested, honey, Stay tuned. So, the five things that I wish someone had told me as a business owner, as a beginning business owner. Um, let's start with the first one. So, the first thing I feel that people should have said to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking down. Um, but, is one, stop selling to your friends. And, I'm going to catch a lot of shade from this. But, I feel like it's really important to know that. Most people that you know are not going to support you. You could try to upsell to your friends. You could sell to your auntie. You know, your mama might support you and like your best friend might support you. But honestly, your sales are going to come from people you do not know. And funny and oddly enough, these are the people that actually trust you. So you need to make sure that you're branching out and stop worrying about your friends and people that work with you and people that you actually know to support you. Because honey... True tees, they not. They don't care about you. The second thing I wish people would have told me when I started my business is that I need to be making videos. Period. Videos. Honey, let me tell you. It's cute to be making your little pictures and your graphics and stuff. And we'll get later into those graphics. But it's good to make those. But ain't nothing like posting a video. Either on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, uh, TikTok. When I tell you videos is where you're going to get all your likes and all your likes from. And people want to see what kind of product you have. People want to see what you got. People want to see the textures and stuff. And sometimes pictures just don't do it for you no more. Like, if you got a bundle and your bundle is not moving... We can't see that in a picture, but in a video, honey, if you're trying to sell your bundle and your bundles don't move, then, you feel me? We know not to get that. So, do videos. Even if you're scared to get in front of the camera, honey, you got to get over that, especially if you're going to be a business owner. Get over that and do videos. It's so important, so crucial to your business, and you'll thank me later. Number three, let's talk about business credit. Sis. You know, you can go online and you see these girls be talking about, oh, you got to do this and then you get business credit and then you get your credit card and then you can ball out and do what you got to do, buy all kind of inventory and stuff like that. Listen, business credit is tedious to come by. Do you understand me? You have to work for business credit. So don't think that you're just going to go and apply for these things and you're just going to have business credit and then you could get all these Amex cards. and all. No, it don't work like that, babe. And I wish people would have told me that because I'm over here thinking I got what I need for business credit three, four months into having my business. And sis, it's not that easy. Business credit is tedious to come by. So that leads us into um, number four. So the fourth one is you need three trade lines. Three trade lines in order to obtain business credit. And when I talk about trade lines, I'm talking about um, other companies that you've established a credit line with and you have good standing with them. And it, for each company, it takes about three months in order to establish business credit. So you could go to Quill. You could go to Uline. You could go and get a business bank account. See, people don't tell you that. That's a trade line. You get your business accounts with these companies and then once you pay them for like three months and stay in good standing, then they create your trade lines that will qualify you for business credit. These are things that people did not tell me. I had two lines, 
But I was looking for Dun and Bradstreet to show me my credit was lit, was like life. And honey, they was like, babe, you ain't got enough stuff on your credit line in order to have business credit. So it's important to know that you need at least three trade lines to get business credit. Number five, the way you promote determines your sales. Now let me elaborate. The way you promote, whether it be through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what, however you decide you want to promote, it's not literally what you put out there, but it's how you put it out there. So make sure that you're using captions underneath all of your posts, all of your posts. Make sure that you're using hashtags under all of your posts. Make sure you're using legitimate hashtags underneath all of your posts. And then make sure that you're targeting the right people. You can't go out there and have a red wig on and you trying to promote stuff to older people. You got to know who your target audience is. And a lot of people, they're starting to talk about target audience. But in the beginning, when you're starting a business, you're just trying to sell to any and everybody willing to buy. And that can hurt you in the long run because you trying to sell these necklaces that say boss babe on there, but you trying to get your, your great auntie nanny to, to buy it. And she's, that don't fit for her. You have to know who you're targeting to and the way you promote your products. You can't sell pottery twerking in a video. Like it don't work like that. You get what I'm saying? So just make sure that you Pay attention to how you're promoting and pay attention to who you're promoting to. And I'm going to give you a bonus one because this one is so crucial and I it was a mistake that I made as a beginning business owner. Number six, pay that extra $10 for a virtual address, sis. Because without it, you can't get business credit. You can't. It's just not going to work. And honestly... It's just $10 and it's really going to help you go the extra mile that you need to go for your business. And then it looks real legit. You know what I'm saying? So definitely pay those $10. Because what I did was I started paying the $10 and I was just like, I don't even use this. I never even tried. And then I went to apply for business credit and this lady's like, well, you're using your home address. You can't, you can't get business credit with that. Pay those extra $10, get your virtual address, apply for everything that you need. It looks professional, it looks good. And also, get yourself a business email too. No Hotmails, no Gmails. That's something I got to work on too. Well, I have one, I just haven't connected it. But that's another story. But those are the six things <laughs> that I wish people would have told me when starting my business. And I really hope that it helps you. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below and let me know if these things are things that you've heard before or things that you knew already. Um, if it helped you, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to go ahead and shovel out as many videos as I can. So y'all make sure y'all show your girl some love. Please share this video. It may help someone else um, if it did, if it helped you. Um, and thank you again for watching. And we will see y'all in the next video.